Hey everyone. The other week I was searching through GitHub looking at uh, examples of malware and malware scanners just to see what was out there and did a very simple search for eval base64 decode and we get the usual results of base64 scanner, uh, a decoder that handles a very specific set of calls, a cleaner, some more scanners, but then down here I noticed that I was getting actual PHP code in the descriptions of these uh, repositories. So out of curiosity I went into those repositories and found nothing. There was literally nothing in this repository. So that got me wondering, where is this code? Where is this code actually being stored? And it turns out that it's being stored in the description of the repository. Now, you might ask, why does that matter? Why do you need to worry about that? Well, it's because very easily you can retrieve and execute that code very, very easily with just a simple PHP script, or if you want it to be run on the client side, a JavaScript application, just using GitHub's repo API. The nice thing about GitHub's repo API is that it returns things as JSON. So if you do a simple curl to that, to one of these, say for example, Rafa Nazmi v7, you get back all this wonderful information about it along with the full code in that description. So I put together this script that will take that output, it will decode it, and then it will do some string replacements to clear out the, the excess uh, backslashes. And when we run this against Rafa Nazmi's, what we get is a very easily executed block of PHP.